You know, I'm a refined man. I just like to take in a nice Derek from time to time. Uh, it's also Derek, don't you think? My brain is wrong. All right, on today's episode of Cocktails with Jeffrey, we have Variations on Libations, Episode 2, Attack of the Cocktails. And the cocktail we're going to be attacking today is a variation on the sidecar. It is based on a thing called the Evan sidecar, and practically it is, but I have made one tiny adjustment. Instead of coating the glass with sugar, I am instead coating the glass with monk fruit in the raw, which is what this is going to be. I'm going to rim my glass with monk fruit. Please, Tony Shalhoub, don't sue me. But yeah, so we're going to start this off by getting into our lemon. Now, if you have even a passing resemblance to competency, uh, what you might want to do instead is uh, have a cutting board out. Um, but this is Cocktails with Jeffrey, and we go boldly, okay? We don't plan. We don't think. We just do. What we're going to do now, after coughing <laughs> immensely and editing that out is try and consider the fact that we want to express the oils, but we don't really have much oil to work with in terms of this lemon skin. So we're just gonna rub the glass with the juice until the juice runs down its legs. Truly, this is gonna be the most perverse episode of Cocktails with Jeffrey, somehow. And yeah, so we're gonna take the glass and just rim it and yeah hopefully it won't come out looking like shit but knowing us it probably will and yeah there we go here is our rimmed glass pretty good could have been better but all things considering could have been a lot worse on NPR and following that horrible joke, we're going to take our shaker tin, which we have filled with ice. I particularly have two big cubes of ice, one of which I did a little stabby stabby poke poke to, to um, break it up a little, but if you want more of a one full cube and then a fully crushed piece of ice, that's up to you. I'm still learning how to properly do that. And speaking of a thing I can do fairly properly is... Yeah, we're getting that juice. And in today's incarnation, I am using a lemon. The idea being to juice only half of it, but depending on how much juice is drawn, I might dip into the other half. Now, with something like this, it is good, I would argue, to juice it with a strainer, particularly considering how many seeds there are, and I'm even somewhat surprised, it's like a dozen seeds. For half a lemon, that for me is a lot of seeds, but your mileage may vary. If you don't, if you know there's not going to be a lot of lemons, or if you're a risk taker, maybe squeeze the juice using your hand as like a a stopper of sorts. But that's a little risky. But something that isn't risky and will be shown on camera most properly is us adding in one ounce of triple sec. The triple sack I'm using is from Tuthill Town Spirits, based out of Gardner, New York, and they are most known for creating things like their Hudson Baby Bourbon and things of that nature. They're the Hudson Whiskey brand, essentially, but 
They also do produce some pretty interesting liqueurs such as the triple sec and I'm also a pretty big fan of their cacao liqueur. But, you know, Evan's sidecar, I believe the cocktail was posted and is found on the Heaven Hill website. Of course, gotta promote yourself while giving a helpful guide of Here's some cocktails to make, but use our amazing products and services. And the product and or service they recommend is Evan Williams Single Barrel, which is really a great, not quite bargain buy, but a very affordable single barrel bourbon that you can find on the market. And I added in a little under half I added in a little under two ounces. Recipe calls for one and a half, but the first pour was a little light and the second pour was a little heavy. So that's just happy little accidents, I suppose. And of course, with the inclusion of citrus, it is highly recommended um, that you shake the drink, which is what we're gonna do now. And uh, so yeah, enjoy. And so yeah, now that we've got in the glass all nice and cold, we're gonna strain the cocktail into our chilled rimmed glass. Potentially unlocking some flavors from the remaining seeds. There you go. And if you want to, like me, if you like citrus, you can just add in a splash more lemon juice just to kind of add some, you know, zest and speaking of zest of course we're gonna add in some actual lemon zest to the drink as a garnish and then we're just gonna take it and make a twist before of course sliding it into the drink where it will slide to the bottom. And of course, how does it taste? Would I recommend that you use um, the actual sugar that they recommend? Yes. This isn't bad, but it's a very unique tart palette. Yeah, so, um, the Evan Sidecar by Jeffrey, and, uh, yeah, it is a, it's a beauty to look at, but it is a, hmm, kind of cocktail, out of seven, of course, that is my official rating, all of these will be rated and scored by my definitive countdown. I've been Jeffrey Patron. This has been Evan Sidecar. And have a wonderful day. 
subscribe to the channel if you would at all like more of this content. Of course, if you'd like less of this content, give it a big thumbs down. But before you do that, subscribe, hit the bell, and be in the know when all of this horrible, horrible content will hit the web. And so you can be best prepared into telling me to shut the hell up. And so, yeah, that's about it. Have a great day. Or don't. Try to. Possibly. If at all possible.